Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the incredible story of a seemingly ordinary coin that turned out to be worth a staggering $1.8 million. Yes, you heard that right. $1.8 million for a 1998 one-cent dime. Let's uncover the mystery behind this remarkable treasure. Narrator on camera with a background of a coin collection display. Before we get into the details, let's clarify one thing. This isn't your average dime. It's a rare and unique coin, a true gem for collectors. So, what makes this coin so special? Let's start with a little background. Close-up shots of various dimes from different years, ending on the 1998 dime.in 1998. The U.S. Mint produced millions of dimes, but among these, a few anomalies slipped through, errors that would become highly prized by collectors. Narrator in front of a graphic illustrating the anatomy of a dime. This specific 1998 dime, known as the 1998 D. Lincoln cent, features a minting error that makes it extraordinarily valuable. So, what is this error? High-resolution images of the 1998 D. Dime, zooming in on the key features. This particular coin is a mule, a coin struck with mismatched dies. It was accidentally minted with the reverse of a Roosevelt dime and the obverse of a Lincoln cent. This mix-up creates a fascinating and rare piece that's highly sought after in the numismatic community. The discovery of this mule coin was nothing short of sensational. Coin collectors and enthusiasts were astounded when it first came to light. The rarity and uniqueness of this era quickly drove its value up. In recent years, the 1998 D. Mule cent has fetched staggering amounts at auctions. The most impressive sale? A mind-blowing $1.8 million. Imagine finding one of these in your pocket change. So, what should you do if you want to try your luck at finding one of these rare coins? Here are a few tips for aspiring coin hunters. Always inspect your coins, especially older ones. Know what errors to look for, mule coins, misprints, and unusual markings. A magnifying glass or a coin microscope can help you spot minute details. Engaging with other coin enthusiasts can provide valuable insights and resources. Follow auction houses and online platforms for the latest on rare coin sales. Narrator standing in front of a colorful backdrop with the channel's logo. The story of the 1998 D. Mule scent is a perfect reminder that sometimes, incredible treasures are hiding in plain sight. Keep your eyes open and stay curious. You never know what you might find. Today, we have an incredible story that's taken the coin collecting world by storm. Imagine having a coin in your pocket that looks like a regular dime, but is worth a whopping $1.2 million. Yes, you heard that right. In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating tale of the 2021 D1 cent dime. Let's get started. This isn't your ordinary dime. It's a rare mint error that has captivated collectors worldwide. But what makes this dime so special? Let's break it down. Every year, the U.S. Mint produces billions of coins, but sometimes, rare errors occur during the minting process. These errors can turn an everyday coin into a valuable collector's item. The 2021 D dime is one such extraordinary error coin. Now, you might be wondering why a dime, specifically from 2021 with a Denver Mint mark, would fetch such a high price. It all comes down to a unique mistake during production. This particular coin was struck on a penny planchet instead of a dime planchet. A planchet is the blank piece of metal on which the coin design is stamped. Pennies and dimes are made from different metals and have distinct sizes. A penny planchet is copper plated zinc and larger in diameter compared to a dime's smaller, copper nickel composition. I end the case of the 2021 D1 cent dime. A penny planchet somehow ended up in the press for dimes. The result? A dime that's visually unique and highly sought after by collectors. In 2023, this rare coin made headlines when it sold at auction for an astonishing $1.2 million. This sale set a new record for error coins, highlighting the value and fascination they hold within the numismatic community. So, how can you spot such a rare gem? Here are a few tips. Compare the size of your dime to a regular one. If it seems off, it could be an error coin. Pennies and dimes have different weights. A precise scale can help determine if you have an unusual coin. If you think you've found an error coin, 
have it evaluated by a professional coin grader or appraiser. Being part of a coin collecting community can also help you stay informed about rare finds and market trends. Sites like Cointalk and the PCGS forums are great places to start. The story of the 2021 D1 cent dime is a reminder that rare treasures can be hiding in plain sight. Always check your change, and who knows, you might be holding the next million dollar coin. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel name for more amazing coin stories and collecting tips. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Have you ever found a rare coin? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of era coins and uncovering the incredible story behind the 2019 D1 cent dime that's worth a whopping $1.3 million. Yes, you heard that right. $1.3 million for a single coin. Let's find out why. Before we dive into the specifics of the 2019 D1 cent dime, let's talk about what makes era coins so valuable. Era coins are essentially coins that have been misprinted, struck incorrectly, or have some kind of defect that sets them apart from the standard mintage. These errors can range from minor mistakes to major blunders, and collectors go wild for them. The 2019 D1 cent dime is a prime example of a major mint error. This coin was supposed to be a dime, but was accidentally struck on a one cent planchet. A planchet is the blank piece of metal on which the design is stamped. So, instead of being a regular dime, it became a one of a kind treasure. Now, you might be wondering why is this coin worth $1.3 million? The value of error coins depends on several factors rarity, demand, and the nature of the error. In the case of the 2019 D1 cent dime, it's an extremely rare mistake. Only a handful of such errors have ever been discovered, making it a hot item for collectors. In 2020, this extraordinary coin was auctioned off and sold for an astonishing $1.3 million. The fierce bidding war and the final price highlight just how much collectors are willing to pay for a piece of numismatic history. Wondering if you have an error coin in your collection? Here are some tips on what to look for. Check for off-center strikes, where the design is not properly aligned. Look for double strikes, where the coin has been stamped more than once. Examine the edges for unusual markings or missing parts. Use a magnifying glass to spot any subtle anomalies. Error coins like the 2019 D1 cent dime not only captivate collectors but also spark interest in coin collecting as a whole. Who knows what other hidden treasures are out there, waiting to be discovered. Keep an eye on your change. You might just find the next million dollar coin. Thanks for joining us on this numismatic adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting coin stories. And remember, the next time you find a strange-looking coin, it might just be worth a fortune. Happy collecting! Today's video, we're diving into the incredible story of the 2014 P1 cent dime that's worth a whopping $1.4 million. Yes, you heard that right! A coin typically worth just 10 cents has become a collector's dream with one specimen fetching a staggering $1.4 million at auction. This particular coin is known as a transitional era coin. But what makes it so special? Let's break it down. Normally, the U.S. Mint produces coins with extreme precision. But occasionally, mistakes happen. The 2014 P1 cent dime is an extraordinary example of such a mistake. It's a mule coin, meaning it was struck with mismatched dies. In this case, a die intended for a penny and a die intended for a dime. Visual, close-up of the coin's features, highlighting the obverse, heads, and reverse, tails, dot asterisk coin errors are not entirely uncommon, but this particular error is extraordinarily rare. Similar high-value errors have occurred in the past, such as the famous 1955 double-die penny. However, the 2014 P1 cent dime stands out due to its perfect condition and the significant mismatch in its design. These kinds of errors usually escape the mint's quality control and end up in circulation, where they can be overlooked for years. Visual. Reenactment of someone discovering the coin. Asterisk the story of this coin's discovery is just as fascinating. 
a keen-eyed collector spotted the anomaly and had it authenticated by experts. The coin was then put up for auction, where it created a frenzy among collectors. Visual, auction footage and the final bid amount displayed prominently. Asterisk in the end, this tiny piece of metal sold for an astonishing $1.4 million. A true testament to the thrill and value of numismatics. So, how can you tell if you have a valuable error coin? Here are a few tips. Look for anomalies in the date and mint mark. Make sure the designs on both sides match the expected images. Errors are more valuable in pristine condition. Always have a suspicious coin checked by a professional. Visual. Quick clips of coins being inspected by collectors and professionals. Keep an eye out for any unusual features. And who knows, you might just strike gold, or rather, a million-dollar dime. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of coin collecting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing stories and tips. And remember, always check your change. You never know what treasures you might find. Visual, channel logo and social media handles appear on screen. Click here for more fascinating coin stories and here to subscribe to our channel. Keep exploring and happy collecting. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an unbelievable story about a simple coin that could make you a millionaire. Imagine finding a 1978 Washington quarter worth a staggering $1.6 million. Sounds impossible, right? Well, stick around because we're diving deep into why this particular coin is so special and how you could potentially find one in your own pocket change. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. The 1978 Washington Quarter is a pretty common coin in most people's collections. So, what makes this specific quarter worth such a mind-blowing amount? The answer lies in a rare minting error. In the world of coin collecting, errors can turn an ordinary coin into an extraordinary treasure. This particular quarter has a very rare double die error on the obverse side. What does that mean? Well, simply put, the design on the front of the coin was accidentally struck twice by the die, creating a noticeable doubling effect on the date and the inscriptions. This kind of error is extremely rare and highly sought after by collectors. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, but it's this rarity that drives the value through the roof. One such coin was authenticated and valued at an astonishing $1.6 million. Just last year, a 1978 Washington quarter with this error was put up for auction, creating a frenzy in the numismatic community. The final bid? You guessed it $1.6 million. So, how can you identify if you have one of these golden tickets in your change jar? First, you'll need a good magnifying glass or a coin microscope. Carefully examine the date and the words liberty and in God we trust on the front of the coin. Look for any signs of doubling. It might look like a faint shadow or a second outline. If you spot this, don't jump for joy just yet. The coin needs to be authenticated by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC to confirm its value. These grading services will carefully evaluate your coin and determine its authenticity and grade. A high-grade coin with a clear and significant double die error can be worth a small fortune, just like the one that sold for $1.6 million. So, the next time you get a quarter in your change, take a closer look. You might just be holding a piece of numismatic history worth millions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss our latest updates and let us know in the comments if you've ever found a rare coin. Until next time, happy hunting, and good luck! Where we uncover the fascinating world of rare coins and collectibles. I'm your name, and today, we're diving deep into the mystery and allure of the 1990 Washington Quarter that's recently made headlines for its astronomical value. The Washington Quarter series has been a staple in American currency since 1932. However, it's the 1990 quarter that's turning heads today. But what makes this particular coin worth more than its weight in gold? Let's break down these key factors. First, minting errors. Mint errors are mistakes made during the coin production process. These can range from double strikes to off-center minting. Some errors are so rare that they create a significant premium among collectors. 
For the 1990 Washington quarter, the particular error that can elevate its value involves a missed strike or a unique flaw that's not commonly seen. These errors are like fingerprints. No two are exactly alike. Next, the condition of the coin. In the world of numismatics, condition is king. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. The 1990 quarter in question is an impeccable, mint state condition, possibly graded MS 68 or higher. A coin in such a pristine state significantly boosts its desirability and value. Lastly, unique provenance. Provenance refers to the coin's history, where it has been, who has owned it, and its journey over the years. Coins with a rich and verifiable history can fetch higher prices at auction. The 1990 Washington Quarter that sold for $1.8 million likely had a compelling story, authenticated by experts, adding to its allure and value. So, how can you find out if you have a valuable 1990 Washington Quarter? Here are some steps. Use a magnifying glass to look for any unusual marks or missed strikes. Is your coin in near perfect condition? Look for scratches or wear. Send your coin to a professional grading service for an official assessment. If possible, trace the history of your coin to add to its story. If you think you have a rare coin, it's always worth consulting with a numismatic expert. Who knows? You might be sitting on a hidden treasure. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey into the world of rare coins. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Share your coin stories in the comments below. We love hearing from our community. Until next time, happy hunting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of the 1997 Washington Quarter that fetched an unbelievable price at auction. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel! If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our exciting coin and collectible content. Today, we're exploring one of the most intriguing and valuable quarters in recent history, the 1997 Washington Quarter. The Washington Quarter, first introduced in 1932, is a staple of American currency. But not all quarters are created equal. The 1997 quarter in question isn't just any coin. It's an exceptionally rare era coin, which has made it a superstar in the numismatic world. So, what makes this particular 1997 Washington Quarter so special? It all comes down to a minting error. Error coins are coins that have some sort of mistake that occurred during their production. These errors can range from minor imperfections to major blunders that make the coin one of a kind. In the case of the $1.7 million quarter, the error is both unusual and significant. This specific coin is a double strike error meaning it was struck twice by the minting press. The second strike was off-center, creating a visually striking effect where the design elements overlap in a way they're not supposed to. It's this uniqueness that caught the attention of collectors and drove the price sky-high. Now, let's talk about the auction where this coin made history. In 2019, this exceptional quarter was put up for auction by Heritage Auctions, one of the leading auction houses for rare coins. The coin was graded by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, as MS67, a high grade indicating its excellent condition. The intense bidding war ended with the coin selling for an astounding $1.7 million. We spoke to some experts in the field to understand more about why this coin fetched such a high price. According to numismatists, the rarity, condition, and the striking visual appeal of the error all contributed to its record-breaking value. So, the next time you come across a 1997 Washington Quarter, take a closer look. You never know, you might just have a million dollar coin in your hands. Keep an eye out for those errors, and who knows, you might be the next lucky owner of a coin worth a fortune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below if you have any interesting coin finds. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing stories from the world of numismatics. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins. Can you believe that a simple 1967 one-cent dime can be worth a staggering $1.1 million? Stay tuned to find out why. Before we get into the million-dollar details, 
Let's start with some basics. The 1967 dime, like many others, was part of the standard issue of dimes produced by the United States Mint. But what sets this particular coin apart from millions of others? In 1967, the U.S. Mint was not producing proof coins due to a coin shortage. However, one special dime managed to escape this period as an error coin, and it's this very coin that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide. So what makes this coin so rare and valuable? It's all about a striking error. This 1967 dime was struck on a one-cent planchet. That's the metal disc used to create the coin. Essentially, it means this dime was minted on a piece meant for a penny, which is incredibly rare. These types of errors are extremely uncommon, and when discovered, they become highly sought after by numismatists, people who collect and study coins. The 1967 one-cent dime recently made headlines when it was sold at auction for an astonishing $1.1 million. Auctions like these are where rare coins often fetch their highest prices especially when collectors are eager to own a piece of numismatic history. According to experts, the value of such a coin isn't just about the metal but the story and rarity behind it. This particular era coin is one of a kind, which is why it commanded such a high price. If you're ever lucky enough to come across what you think might be a rare coin, it's crucial to have it professionally graded. Coin grading services assess the coin's condition, authenticity, and overall quality which are all key factors in determining its value. A high-grade coin with unique features like our 1967 one-cent dime can significantly increase in value. So, what do you think? Would you check your change more carefully now? The world of coin collecting is full of surprises, and who knows, maybe you'll find the next million-dollar coin. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more intriguing stories from the world of rare collectibles. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!